Hey guys, and welcome to another video of 365. Alright, so today I am going to get started on Allie's room redo. I am going to attempt to begin to strip some paint off of uh, my old vanity. I don't think I'm going to strip the paint off of all of it. Brian and I have decided that what we want to do, maybe, is we're going to actually, we're gonna strip the black off of here and back there. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna grab one of these drawers, I'm gonna take it downstairs, and I'm going to see how easy it will be to strip off the black paint. Okay, so now that I've done the one drawer, it is time to do the entire thing. I am very excited to see how this is going to turn out. This is why you have to be careful and wear gloves because I've got this tiny little speck of stuff on me. It's just a smear of paint with a little bit of the paint remover in it and it burns like crazy. Now it's not going to do any damage because I'm going to wash it off right away. You're not even going to see a red mark, but it hurts. It hurts. So yeah, when you're doing a project like this, you might want to keep just a, a wet rag around and a towel or something just so you can like spot clean if you accidentally get a speck of it on your skin. All right, I'm done with my part of the drawers and now I'm going to hand them off to Brian while I continue to work on the body of the vanity. And bonus of using the vanity as my work surface, anything that dripped down only helps my process. Alright, I got the drawers up on the workbench and uh, the Orville sander's got a brand new desk on it and we're gonna get started sanding the drawers. First drawer sanded, I had to use a Dremel to get into the handle of it, and that's done. Got two more drawers to go. So this is the progress I've made. I've pretty much done just the top of it. Sorry if you can't hear me, Brian's standing in the other room. And I still have all the sides to do. It's really annoying, to be honest. Uh, there's a lot of rounded edges, and scrapers do not have rounded edges, so I don't know. It's, it's annoying. It's going to look really good when it's done, but yeah, I hate this process, to be honest. Well, I think it definitely has the faded antique look I was going for. Just slightly blue. I'm likely going to hit that with some sandpaper too and complete the, um, the weathered finish look. Alright, so the next step is I'm going to use a stencil in the center of each one of these drawers just to give it a little something extra. Fingers crossed! Oh, is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Beautiful! It worked! Alright, so the mirror's not done yet, but this is it so far. I think it looks amazing! It looks so good! It's such an improvement. And we are done. I can't believe the before and after difference. It turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. All of these little stencils on there, I just, oh, it turned out so nice. And the blue with the white, I think it just, it, it turned out so nice. It's gonna look really nice in Allie's room. 
How many times can I say nice? All right, that's it for today's vlog, guys. If you enjoyed watching this vanity table makeover, give this video a big thumbs up. If you've ever done your own furniture makeover, why don't you go ahead and tell me in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos, and we will see you guys next time.